Hey, what's up? Welcome back, YouTube. We're continuing MSQ today. We've got the Royal Menagerie. And uh, this is a trial. This is, We're going to be facing off against a Xenos Absorbed Shinryu. So I'm going to go ahead and queue, and we'll see you once the queue pops in there. If it pops. Should, hopefully. Anyways, we'll see you in a sec. Okay, we actually got a queue pop, and I waited this time for us to actually be inside before I hit unpause, because someone to not hit accept and then go back into the queue is super annoying. Here we are at the Royal Menagerie. I'm going to raise the camera for this one. Ooh, almost to the edge. I saw somebody fly off. We are on his back.
Oh yeah. Are you all right? Xenos. <laughs> the hunter has indeed become the hunted. There is only joy, transcendent joy that I have never known. How invigorating, how pure this feeling. Is that what this was all about? All the meaningless death and destruction, so you could feel something? Not that you could ever understand. To have stood upon this great stage of fools. To have played my part to perfection. Oh, this. This moment. That had been enshrined in eternity. My heart beating out of time. So clear. So vivid. So real. So real. Where is he? He's dead. By his own hand. <sighs> and justice has been done. No. There's no justice in that... ...in that rabid animal's end. Liberty or death? That so many should be forced to take up this creed to defeat such madness. We won. Forget him. The living have need of us now. Stand tall, Lys. Now is the time to raise a cheer for all who fought for freedom. A cheer loud enough to carry to the highest heavens. You're right. Thank you. Without you, well, you know. So let's do it together. For Alamigo!
In crimson it began. And in crimson it got a little choked up. And then and then we were free. That felt earned. But what is freedom, really? We may be free to live, to love, to grow old, to have dreams and desires, and to strive for them. But in the end, we're defined by the legacy our forefathers bequeathed to us. Even Xenos was once a baby in the cradle, innocent and pure. He was made into a creature that lived only for death, not born. Twenty years of Imperial rule have left Alamigo torn and bleeding. It won't be easy to heal a generation's worth of wounds. To bridge the gap. But I won't give up, Papalimo. I won't. Because I remember the price of freedom. I remember the smoke and the ashes and the blood. I remember the screams and the silence. And I'll do whatever it takes. To honor their sacrifice. To build a home for us all. I promise you. This is the end. The end of the Imperial Province of Alamigo and a rebirth of Alamigo, the free nation. Long may she endure. Feel feel like we deserve that rest that everybody always talks about.
Oh man, that's such a good song. Holy crap. All right. Thank you to the entire team for working on this. We're going to go ahead and skip. As we just look upon Lord Hien's back. Stinian? Well, well, well. What a fine mess we've made. He called upon Nidhogg, though. Oh my god. All but spent feeding that primal ray. Well, you won't be making any mischief with that amount of ether. Still, better safe than sorry. Oh, I thought he was going to take them. What a G. There. There ends your hateful legacy. That's a sweet screenshot right there. Him looking up with the flowers in the background. That'll probably be my thumbnail. I don't know. We still have Varys. The grandfather, I believe. Or father, sorry, his father. It's over. My condolences for your loss. A father should not outlive his son. What nonsense. You do not mourn his loss. You surprise me, your radiance. He was your son and heir, an irreplaceable test subject. I know what he was. Monsters are not made for thrones. Nor are stars made to sustain false gods who sup on their very essence. Icons summoned by desperate savages who hearken to the whispers of shadowless charlatans. And should you raise a hand against my black robe, brethren, I will not stop you. Our desires are one in the same. Persever preservation. Preservation. Preservation? Restoration. Restoration? Compression. Resurrection. All in this in service to your one true god. And when the sundered shards are made whole, will there be a place for us mere mortals? Doubt my claims and question my motives if you will, your radiance. You will come to trust me in time. Till then, mayhap you will find this reassuring. We're not going to get to see his face, are we? How, how dare you? No, nope, we're not going to get to see his face. We did it. We liberated all amigo. I don't know what to say. I don't even know how to feel about it all. Relief, I suppose. Pride and hope, too. We did it, Father. Ida, Papalimo, Conrad, Mefred, Minfilia, we really did it. Hey, don't feel like you have to stand here listening to me mumble. Everyone else will want to thank you. You beat him, after all. You're the real hero of this story, so run along and take your plaudits. And the lupins are tall as hell. Oh my god. 
Eutipas Xenos, even after he had harnessed the power of Primal, is a testament to your ever-growing strength. Not bitter to have had your vengeance stolen from you by another. There is a, some small regret, perhaps, but that is outweighed by the satisfaction I find in his death. I commend you, Amask. As should we all. Xenos was a monster and a tyrant, a man who killed my father and countless other of my countrymen. The world is a better place without him in it. I should also praise Master Alphanod for his foresight and restraint. Had he not intervened, I might never have had the pleasure of being reunited with Hakuro and his Lupin brothers. It's a timely intervention, I. Who glad am I not to have been burdened with the guilt of killing my Lord Hyun's most trusted allies? Indeed, my friend, indeed. After all we have been through, I really should know better than to worry, but, as ever, the relief I felt upon finding you hale and whole in the Royal Menagerie well nigh reduced me to tears. Warrior of Light, victorious again. I should be surprised if some, um, some small part of you had not come to resent the title and the responsibilities which accompany it. You must forgive us if we call you Hero when you accomplish heroic feats. But as the Warrior of Light goes, so goes the world. You should take pride in the good you have done and in the good you have inspired others to do. You are a natural-born leader of men, Hamesk. All these people weren't just following their commanders. They were following you. You led them to victory, to freedom. Last, not everyone could see the journey through to its end, but history shall remember them, the glorious future they made possible. You believe it? We won! We beat the bastards! Al amigo! Sorry, I got it. They carried away there, didn't I? It's hard not to, you know? We owe it to the friends we buried to shout and scream and cheer with all our hearts. I want them to know it wasn't for nothing. That it's finally over and they can rest in peace. You, sh you hear that, lads? We'll be alright. We'll, we'll be... Oh, bugger, not again. I'm so complete and happy I could cry. The hero of the hour. I suppose we'll have to add Liberator to your titles. Yes, actually, please. With their commander fallen, the remainder of the Twelfth chose to surrender to our forces. After twenty long years, it's official. The occupation has ended. Now the hard work starts. Though the people have had their fill of kings, there is no clear consensus on what sort of government they would prefer instead. Indeed. Indeed, Father. Momentous as this achievement may be, the road which lies before us is no less uncertain than the one we have walked. Aye, aye. Yet if we can overcome two decades of oppression, I have no doubt we can find a way forward. Thank you, Amesk, for helping us make this dream a reality. Finished your rounds? Great. In that case, I'd like you to come with me. Back to Ralgur's Reach. Not for a rematch or anything, sadly. I want to call all the Scions together. I'll explain later. I... I don't even know where to begin. been through a lot together, haven't we? I can't thank you enough. There's something I need to say to you all. That is, if you have a moment. Good. You're all here. Good. Thank you doesn't really suffice, does it? I'm grateful, truly grateful from the bottom of my heart. But I know you didn't fight so hard just to hear me or anyone else say that. You fought because you wanted to help, because you believed it was right, because you're scions. Now I'm obviously a scion, but as Conrad left me in charge of things here, 
I also have responsibilities to Alamigo. When I put it like that, though, I realized I couldn't even pretend to be impartial anymore. So it seemed best to make it official. Don't say it. As long as I serve Alamigo, I can't be a scion. It might be selfish and short-sighted, but that's my decision. I'm gonna miss you. Me most of all. Am I to understand that you summoned us all, some of us still nursing wounds, to hear this? Oh, I, I, I did, um... Uh -huh. <laughs> Forgive me, Lise. Twas but a jest. But this I say with the utmost sincerity. Scion or no, we are comrades. Now and ever after. Is that not so? There you have it. Come what may, you may count on us in your hour of need. We shall never refuse you. Stola. Oh, God. I swore I wouldn't cry. Come back here, you slippery little devil. I think fishing could be so difficult. What greater proof of a man's lingering mortality than an empty belly? A fate worse than death. At the appointed place and time, only to survive by mere force of habit. Truly, Kami are not finished yet. Capricious fortune. How you test me with this wretched soul. Are they just on an island in the middle of nowhere? I thought he washed up in the Ruby Sea. Well, maybe, maybe, oh shit. I'm assuming Omega's down there. This is indeed the work of either Shinryo or Omega. And since there is undeniably something down there radiating a massive amount of energy, which cannot very well be to the late Viceroy's lap dragon, yes, I think we have our suspect, Omega. Well, this is a mess of our own making, so if it falls to us to clean it up, it won't be easy. But is it ever? Now comes the part where you say you've got no choice but to divert company resources and employees to get this pet project of yours. Lost profits and belligerent clients be damned. I, uh, financial considerations notwithstanding, you have to admit there is an unquantifiable un benefit in giving our people the opportunity to study such advanced technology. Oh. Is that before or after you blow it up or seal it away? Fine, fine. But the moment I judge this little venture an unsustainable risk to the ironworks, I'm ending it, Savvy. And to keep you honest, using my authority as deputy president, 
I've gone ahead and brought in a consultant, a master engineer in mechanical G. It's gonna be Nero. You didn't. Not the, not the thunder and lightning. Come now. You mustn't build their expectations too high. It'll be less traumatic when I surpass them. Oh, oh no, absolutely not. This is not happening. Nero Tolskeva, eager to begin his first day as a loyal member of the Ironworks team. Looking forward to working with you, Garland. So many good thumbnails. So fell the hunter, but what of the hound? So rose the... Really? That's just rude. That's just actually rude. Come to see how we're getting on. We've made good progress since we took back Alamiga, but there's one big issue we still have to address. Leadership. The Domans had Lord Hien ready and willing to take the throne, but we've got no one like that here. Theodoric was our last ruler, but he wasn't called the Mad King for nothing. <sighs> Suffice it to say, our people have had their fill of kings, which means we need to find a new way forward. How about a queen, as in Queen Lys? It were that easy. Everyone and his uncle has an opinion. For the time being, we're just going to have to keep leaning on General Aldin and the Alliance for support, and see if we can't find a solution together. Something tells me we're going to be hosting a lot of meetings in the near future. But if that's what it takes, I'm ready to talk till my jaw aches. The reach is yours, Nago. Don't do anything I wouldn't. Aye, aye, Commander. Searching all over for you. But don't worry, it's nothing bad. That said, this might not be the best place to talk. Will you join me? I'll get to the point. Might you be interested in a spot of adventure after all? We were adventurous before we were scions, were we not? After routing the Imperials and liberating our amigo, I reckon we've earned a bit of respite, don't you? And what better way to spend it than by returning to our roots? So, what say you? Shall we call on Alphino and go adventuring? It's what we do, I suppose. Then, let's go and find Master Louvier. Actually, leave that to me. I want you fresh for our little adventure. Wait for us by the Eighth Rite. We'll be along shortly. See you there.
Greetings, Amask. It would seem we are to accompany our involved on some manner of escapade. Have you any idea what we've gotten ourselves into? Allow me to explain. It'll be something of a history lesson, but I'll try to be brief. No snoring, if you please. Now, the events I would speak of occurred before the occupation, back when Alamigo was still a monarchy and Theodoric sat the throne. A uniquely brutal despot by all accounts. That he was. King of Ruin suffered no rivals, real or imagined, and his dispute with the monks of the first ended with Ragor's reach being burned to the ground. In the latter years of his rule, he was seized by the unshakable belief that unseen forces were conspiring to steal his crown. So he ordered that every soul with, with a claim to the throne be executed, including his own family. The wealth of the poor saw as he put to death became the property of the king, and it said that these royal treasures were hoarded somewhere in the palace. Thus was born the legend of the Mad King's Trove. Ah. I believe I see the direction our adventure is to take. I assume you have a mind to unearth this hidden bounty. You assumed correctly. And would I also be incorrect in assuming that this legend is widely known? Others must surely have gone in search of your prize, tempting as it seems. Well, of course we won't be the first to make the attempt. Following Alamigo's liberation, more than a few eager soldiers turned the palace upside down in hopes of claiming an easy fortune. But even after scouring every room from dawn till dusk, they uncovered not a single coin. Their gold lust drained away as quickly as it had come. The legend of the Mad King's Trove remains simply that, a legend. But I see you have no intention of letting the story end there. What self-respecting adventurer would? Imagine. The three of us delving into decades-old mystery. Tell me the thought doesn't set your hearts to racing. I can't tell if this is a dungeon or not. We're in the emote box. The news of Doma and Alamigo's liberation has rekindled the flames of revolution in every corner of the Empire. I hear the Imperial Province of Domasca has already risen up in rebellion, which means the Garleans must surely have their hands full. A better time than now to indulge in such a diversion. Tell us, Arnvald, have we any clues as to where we might begin our search? Well, judging by how the other treasure hunters fared, nosing about the palace isn't going to like us get it anywhere, so we'll probably need to uh, ask around. Would that be another way of saying no? Well, uh, yes. I see. In that case, I shall pay a visit to the Allied Archivists and request access to the records seized from the Imperials. The Garleans are meticulous about such things. They uncovered the trove during their occupation. The event is certain to have been recorded. In the meantime, the two of you can track down those who had worked as the palace servants and officials in Theodoric's day. Given that they would have been at least 20 at the time, you will be looking for people who have set 40 summers or more. Anything they can't tell you about the king and his bloody deeds may prove useful, so be sure to listen well. Arnvald, pray try your luck in the fringes and the peaks whilst Amask makes the rounds in the Alamegan Quarter. Aha! Uh -huh. There I was thinking I was the party leader. Not that I mind, of course. Let's be about it. We can meet afterwards at Gilbrod's Gate. I have, I have no idea what's coming up. It's be it a dungeon or a trial or what. But anyways, we'll find out surely in the next one. Um, but that's going to be it for the main scenario quest, the main portion of Stormblood. We're officially in post Stormblood. So if you've enjoyed the journey, like the video, subscribe to the channel because we have a bunch more coming. We'll see you in the next one.